I had gotten myself into an unhealthy relationship. He made a lot of promises and um, talked about getting married and said that we should all move in and um, made it sound like it was going to be perfect. I believed it and I decided to um, to embrace that and I moved the kids and I to um, his house in East Peoria. When things started to fall apart, I needed to find a place to go and um, came up with a plan to um, use my tax return money to um, buy an RV. The plan was for it to be a temporary situation. We were going to um, live at the campgrounds in an RV. I sold it to the kids as an adventure. By the time we got to the to the RV park, I was I was hopeless. I really didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know how we were going to get out of the situation we were in. Even with everything going on, um, I looked forward to single moms morning out. I didn't plan on telling anybody that I was homeless. I didn't plan on letting anybody know that we were any different than any of the other single moms that were there. I had decided, you know, I had some time left and um, decided that it would be a good idea to stop at the prayer room. I said, well, you know, prayer, prayer never hurts, so let's go in and um, see what God can do. And I, I couldn't help but open up. And I just laid everything out on the table. Uh, I couldn't find anything and that we were stuck and that I knew I couldn't get myself out. Walking out of the church after the event, I knew that I had to go back to the RV and it was hard. It was, you know, that that's my life. I got a break and now I'm gonna go back to the same thing that I've, I, the same place where I was. That afternoon I was on my computer and I said, okay, God, I don't know what my real job is supposed to be, but until you tell me, I'm going to put an ad on the internet to clean houses. Titled it, Hire a Housewife, and I um, filled the description with more than just housekeeping and my phone number. Um, I made a list of all the things I would do, things that um, typical cleaning companies don't do. Basically, you know, I'd do anything that they needed done. I gave it the name to make it stand out. I didn't really consider that I was starting my own business at the time. I had no idea that that's what God's plan was. Hope is what we crave and that will never change. So I stand in I need a drop of grace to carry me to there are still times when I look back and see all of the mistakes I made and it's really easy to get depressed, um, to get upset. I tell this story and it gives somebody else hope and it brings somebody else to him and it changes somebody else's life, then that's what this is all about. <laughs>